guys, so this is my first ever um, YouTube video, so I'm going to be doing a flip through of my completed Reckless Journal. This is why I sound so nervous by the way, so sorry about that. As I said, this was my first ever Reckless Journal and it's taken me just over four months. So yes, this is it completed. By the way, this is the um, colour edition of Reckless Journal. So there is the original and then all the different cover designs and then this is the um, one that said it's at the top, the revolution is now a car. So that is this one. Oh, and also I've looked all over YouTube and I don't think anyone else has done a Reckless Journal colour edition um, completed flip through. So I haven't found anyone who's done it. I really like people who have been doing the pages. So I could be the first one. I'm not sure. Tell me if you find um so someone who has done a completed flip through. Before I begin, I think I'll show you some of the materials I used in my Rose Journal in case you'd like to know. Black acrylic paint, my Jazz Art watercolour set, Posca fine liner um, paint pen, the Art Studio fine liner, the Derwent Artist blendable colour pencils, um, the, I love these, um, Faber Castle, these were my quite old pencils and a smoothie gel pen. Now let's get started. So the front cover, I decided to put origami paper over the top and some glitter tape. Um, here's the spine, it's got a hold a lot. Here's the back, it's like a checkered design. Here's the top and the side and the bottom. Um, so you'll see what these holes are about in a moment. If you see these post-its, um, that's because it's private information that I want to cover up. Um, so yeah, they have this kind of stuff on the cover, which I like, because there's more problems with this is what the holes are about, so you can pause if you want to read all of that. Um, this is probably my least favorite page of the book, because it's just so simple. It's a title page, a copyright page, and the warning page, I kind of wanted them to match, kind of, so I did this design in both of them. And it's supposed to be like a before and after kind of thing, but I'm not sure if it really works. And these are the introduction pages, so if you, you can pause it if you want to read them, but um, yeah. It's the instruction page, I follow most of these instru instructions, except I don't carry it with me everywhere I go. And yeah materials and I do write page numbers so these page numbers were a struggle um that's kind of random <laughs> um crack the spine I used to have a really ugly drawing here oh yeah and try and look for a butterfly on every single page because it's a problem that's at the very end can't this page run on purpose I think it is actually the first page I did of this breakfast journal so yeah that's why it all looks a bit <laughs> Not that good. Um, pour spill, drip spit, fling different coloured drinks here. So I tried to um, put tape on here, and the, but the tape ended up ripping the paper because I was just going to take it off and it would be a nice clean look, but this won't work. So poke holes in this page using a pencil, so I did. You are probably thinking that this page looks quite shiny, and that's because I used clear packing tape on all of my artwork um, to protect it. But recently I've been using Matte Mod Podge. You don't need that much protection, but in a regular show you do. I did a quote, do not just do enough, do the best you can do. Um, draw fat lines and thin, pushing really hard with the pencil. I did push really hard with the pencil, but only for the outline of these um, several ones here. And some of these are actually spots, so they kind of don't count. This page is for handprints or fingerprints. Get them dirty, then press down. And when I put my hand on here, it looks as though it's gross so much. I don't know if I did this properly or something, but it just looks really different. And they're both my left hand because I'm right handed. Um, Colour this entire page. So I did, I wanted to practice 3D. There's actually a page here which is the um, throw something or pencil or ball dipped in paint. But I copied another YouTuber and I don't want to have to put this and take this video off. So. I'll skip that page. Press leaves and other found things. These were my flower press for a year and I finally found a use for them. Do some rubbings with a pencil crayon. So I actually didn't know what this meant until after I did this page. 
and so that's why I drew these like really light little faces on these ones because um, I, I watched a, a video of someone completing a rendition and I realised oh that's how you do it so really, I still rubbed with the pencil just I didn't do anything cool with it scribble wildly violently with reckless abandon so I did it on this page and this page I did a treat Tear strips of colour, then try some plaid. I didn't know what plaid meant. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. So I just thought it meant plat. I did draw a picture of a plat and then I did cut strips. And underneath is glue staple. Take these pages together. Fill this page with coloured circles, as many as you can fit. So this is like, supposed to be kind of like each layer added on so 10 different layers that's when all the 10 layers are on top of each other and this one is only one two three you get the picture oh and i just realized that i didn't complete the pattern on <laughs> that one so it kind of looks a bit different to the rest um document the color of your dinner rub smear splatter your food use this page as a napkin i did this as gravy i think i believe um yeah, and I drew some food, stuck it on, and I tried to do watercolour on this page, and the food made it go all weird, so I, I kind of like that. Um, and I just wrote food and much open. Chew on this, warning, do not swallow. So, yeah, I actually put my gum, um, gum there. So, that's what that is, except there's plastic over the top of it. So, yeah. Um, I did take a bite out of the page as well. Um, mix so many colours they tend to mud, so I used watercolour for this, that's why it doesn't really look that muddy. Um, wrap something with this brush, and I made like a little pocket kind of thing. I think there's like a five cent coin in here, that's why, yeah, it's nothing special. Hide this page, oh yeah, and before I do that, sorry, um, that I usually do this on each, um, page with like, you know, where there's nothing originally was here because it's just easier to turn the page and put the page numbers in so that's why I do that. Hi this page in your neighbour's yard. So I did and this happened. An animal had eaten it. I believe I kept it there for a week and then took it back out and there was also a snail sludge on it which was kind of gross. Tongue painting. Number one, eat some colourful candy to lick this page and I used M&Ms and that worked so well. So yeah. Write some thoughts, cover up these thoughts with the colour of your choice. So if you want to read this, you can pause it, but if you don't want to, um, yeah, I can just continue on. Um, tear out crumples, so I don't know why I did gems there, I think I just want to experiment. The tape made this go weak as well, but um, yeah, tear out and crumple. I do crumple it quite a bit. Um, tie a string to the spine of this book, swing wildly, let it hit the walls. So I do have a nice string here, which looks nice. I did have three, but then um, I ended up taking one off. Pick up the journal without using your hands. Um, I think, yeah, yeah. I, I did to use my feet and then another time I used my elbows. Climb up high, drop the journal. Um, yeah, I live in an apartment, so we dropped it, I, sorry, me and my sister dropped ours from like really high, and so yeah, um, compost this page, that's what all this is about, um, yeah, uh, yeah, compost this page, which is deteriorate, and so that you, you can actually like see the difference of what it was and what it is now, um, do a really, really ugly drawing, use up that ugly subject matter, gum poo, dead things, badly drawn bird, mold, bath, crowd, so I drew Draw, drew poop and a dead a hand and cut off to walking around the place and here is more of my gum it, more of more gum and the mold actually started to grow which was which is kind of gross but luckily there's plastic over the top of it play sticky things here honey gum syrup glue sucker marshmallow i i think i don't know what sucker what, what a sucker was I just thought it was a sweet, so I just did that. Um, and on this page, I put stickers. Pretend you were doodling on the back of an envelope while on the phone. Um, I was on a Zoom 
cool things, so I guess that counts. Journal golf, tear out page, crumple into ball, place journal into a triangle shape, hit slash, kick the ball through the triangle. Um, I only got it in once, it's actually surprisingly hard. Um, make a paper chain, so I did. Um, collect fruit stickers here. Um, yeah. I just do kind of like what most people do. Cover this page using only office supplies. So with this page, I was really impatient and I did not wait for the glue to dry because I was just so impatient. I just wanted to do more of my regular channel. So that's, that's what this mess is about. I think this is still wet under here, but this is dry. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, and this is the exact same scissors as that. And they're actually these scissors. <laughs> I always did a blue because I thought the orange looked a bit weird. Bring this book in the shower with you. I did in a plastic bag. Oh yeah, and the glue leaked through, so that, that's kind of annoying there, but anyway. But up here with dirt. Um, I wait till a rainy day um, to do this because most of the dirt here kind of just doesn't leave a mark because it's sand more, more sand. So yeah, and then I drew a pig because pigs like mud. Um, use this as a test page for every color you can get your hands on. So I said no tests and oops, I think I've banged my desk anyway. And yeah, I tested my um, new colored pencils. If you read my thoughts page, you'll know which ones they are. Um, drip something here, ink, paint, tea, close the book to make a print. So I did a rainbow, which, and this is actually one of my favourite pages. I don't know why, I just, I just love this page. So this page, so there was actually originally a bright orange under here, like kind of like that orange. And I really didn't like it, so I covered it up and then just wrote, so this page here. And yeah, I think it looks so much better now. Um, glue a random page from a newspaper here, add colour to it. So I did that. Um, uh, place your grocery, a place for your grocery list. Oh, I, that's such a bad drawing. Um, cut up tiny bits and glue them here. So I did like, you know, those confetti balloons. I wanted to do one of them, but I'm not sure if that really looks like one. I don't know. Trace the things in your bag or pockets so that the lines will overlap. So this was one of the earlier ones I did in this book as well. So that's that. Click the colours you like here. So I decided to do stars. Um, and actually there's all the colours there, I think. Because I love all colours. And that drawing. You know what? I think I'm going to blur that out. Yeah. You're going to have to just endure it because I could not find a way to blur it on this app, sorry. You don't even want to see it. Um, scribble while they're using only borrowed pens. Document where they were borrowed from. So I borrowed this from my dad. Um, this page is cut strips, dip them in colors, glue them back in. Uh, sorry. My true checkers and made this rainbow. Um, page of good thoughts. Every single time I looked at this page, I wanted to think of it as my good page of good thoughts. So I wanted to make the art really good on this page so that I'd always think of it, you know, I'd always think good thoughts when I looked at this. So I tried my best to do <laughs> the best I could possibly do here. Um, and I mean, who doesn't love a rainbow cupcake? So yeah. Um, make prints using whatever you have on hand, dip things in paint using ink pad. I used a sponge with my watercolors and dabbed it on, but you can't really see it. So yeah, it's kind of like a beach themed. Ask a friend to do something destructive to this page. Don't look. So I got my mum to do something destructive to this page. She ripped it and she drew a poo and <laughs> scribbled over it. Let the colours run. So this is supposed to be kind of like a race, kind of, and then it's also dripping. So I kind of did it in both ways, I guess. Um, glue random items here. Any things you find in your couch, on the street, etc. So I did random items. I was actually coined from China when my dad went there. 
turn this page out, put it in your pocket, put it through the wash, stick it back in. Nothing that bad happened to it. I expected it to be totally ruined, but it was actually fine. Yeah. I'm infused this page with the smell of your choosing. The reason why I didn't colour that in was because I didn't, I completely forgot that was on the other side and didn't want it to stain my clothes, so that's why that's not coloured in. Um, so this smells like my mum's perfume outside of the line so I decided to do balloons floating across the countryside which is actually very bad for the environment but anyway um close your eyes connect the dots from memory simplistic detailed wrote it here <laughs> I could be bullets to do that again that's why I did that um clip your pocket then glue it here so here it is it's so gross for some reason that grosses me out more than the gum but anyway Blue, red, black, yellow, roll dye to find out what colour this page will be. So I ended up doing all the colours. I rolled black first, so, so I did the background black, and then I decided to use the other colours to make a space theme. Make drips. Are these drips or splatter? That's why I, I wrote that there because um, there's another page where um, where it says splatter. So and that's actually a part of that page and there's a part of this page on that page you'll see it soon yeah <laughs> those are the stuff together um sample various subs substances found in your home document what they are create color themes so i did um makeup that's all nail polish by the way draw with scissors cut up color from back of book and glue it here this is also another one of the ones that i one of the more earlier pages that i did Create a drawing using a piece or several pieces of your hair. So I was actually growing out my hair and then so now there's like a really uneven bit because I cut it at the side. I don't know why I decided to do it at the side, I should have done it at the back. But anyway, I'll always remember that. Um, resist, draw with a crayon paint over the top. So I wanted to do one of those like scratch art things. So I actually created one myself and then scratched it and I could not do it neat enough. So now I just ended up just going crazy on it and I actually think it looks cool like that. Draw lines using abnormal writing utensils, dipped in ink or paint, sticks, spoons, twist ties, combs, etc. Change the colour every time you change the utensil. So yeah, if you want you can pause and read all of them. Um, punch this page after dipping your fist in something. So I thought these looked like dog paws. So I, I stuck a picture of a, a drawing of a dog there that I did and uh, it's saying like I'm sorry for you know going over the book but the problem is with this page you can't actually punch it like without doing a separate piece of paper sticking that in because you don't see it because of the red background which is kind of annoying that's why I had to do that but anyway create a colour explosion tear up some coloured paper cover page with glue drop paper onto page I can reach back so I did that here and the glue made it go really weird <laughs> Like especially the red that was supposed to be red anyway um yeah I find a way to wear the journal I just did it as a hat like most people do um this page is a sign what do you want it to say so I just said be you everyone else is taking that I did like little profiles kind of for different characters you can pause it if you'd like to read that um create a non-stop line this is the non-stop line that, that's got nothing to do with it I just do it for fun uh, space for negative comments. What is your inner critic saying? Um, so yeah, that's my negative comments. Uh, make smudges of shades, but rub your fingers, add water. And this page says, make smudges of colour, rub your fingers, add water. So I actually added that there. I wrote that there. That came like that. I wanted it to like match kind of. So that's why that looks like that. A page for four letter words. And I did this. It's like tree acorn i only now like only after i did this i it was only after i did this that i realized acorn is, isn't doesn't have four letters i don't know why i did it at the time i guess it's because of like a corn um randomly cut out some colors from a magazine glue them here i do not think too much about it so i just used a coles food magazine and i stuck it all on here um right with the pen in your mouth i did that is not with my mouth. That's with my hand. Um, give away your favourite page. So I did to my mum. Um, cut strips, do a weaving. 
I don't really like this page. Um, document time passing. This is when I I was not very good at using coloured pencil. Like you can see the horribleness. This before I knew how to like blend coloured pencils, so it looks a bit bad at the moment. But anyway, um, work really with colours I you hate, and there are no colours I hate. There's just some I dislike, so I cannot do this. I'm sorry. So then I end up sticking with the ones I like. How a secret message somewhere in this book. And I thought butterflies were cool for that one, I don't know why. Um, sleep with the journal, describe the experience here. So I wrote about my dream. I, I had a really weird dream. Yeah, before they gonna read it. And there's a picture. Um, close the journal, write so scribble something on the edges. I um, painted on the edges and this was like, after I'd done over half of the book, so the pages were all, all you know, sticky outy and all that, so it was really hard. Stay in love. So I used, got a bunch of different um, things from my kitchen. I did that. There. Yeah. Um, so this. Oops. Is figure out a way to attach these two pages together, and I used this as inspiration. This. Um, what they did here, so I decided I'd do that. Um, splatter, yes you can. So that was the page that um, I did, that I got from the other book, and yeah, it's kind of what happened there. Um, collected box here, now I know most people do not do that, um, but I did, I got, I got two bugs and I stuck them there, they're just ants, they're nothing big. But there was a dead cockroach outside and my sister thought I should put that in here, but I didn't. Um, this said float this page, uh, but obviously now it does not say that. Well, it says float, because I made it into a paper boat, so I stuck it there. Roll this journal down a large hill. I, I rolled a channel down a hill. It wasn't necessarily large, but it was a hill. Figure out a way to freeze this page. So I just ripped it out, put it in the freezer, took it back out, and stuck it back in. Turn the book into a shoe. I actually have not done that yet, so I lie. I have not completed it. <laughs> um, slide the journal, this page face down, down a long hallway. I have done that. Smush something colourful into this page. I want to do like a yin yang thing. With, but with a heart instead. Squirt liquid here, try using your mouth. I didn't try using my mouth because it was watercolor and I thought it'd be toxic. So I just, um, yeah, kind of just, I didn't actually really squirt it, I kind of just splattered it, but anyway, it looks like I squirted. Um, and I drew a bird. Don't know why I did that. Oh, that bird is actually from the, trying to do a simplified version of it but yeah um cover this page in tape create some kind of pattern so i did it's not really a pattern but it's it's similar um add a new color to this page every day for a month so um i didn't do it for a whole month <laughs> anyway um yeah uh cut slits um and i drew a snake and it's like its fangs have gone into the page um, this was make a paper airplane. I don't know why those clouds look green. That looks kind of weird. Yeah. Um, and I fold, um, number one, fold this page several times to make cuts with scissors, three unfold. So yeah, I did that. Fill in this. Oh yeah, I actually couldn't fold it seven times. It wouldn't let me. Sorry, I could only do it like four or something. I don't know. Fill in these shapes with color. If it looks too pretty, please destroy. So I thought the black background would end up destroying it, but anyway, I'm doing it more artistically. I did it more. Uh, I did it more artistically. So yeah. Write a list of more ways to write this journal. Do them now. Put on lipstick. Kiss this page. Sell this page. Cut through several layers. Leave this page in the rain. Create a simple mixture on every page. Mail this journal to yourself. Bury the journal inside and take it back up three minutes later. Draw with glue. So I did all of them. So this is put on lipstick. Kiss this page. Um. Um. I. Uh, oh yeah. Sell this page. So I. Mm, Imogen sell this page for five cents to my dad. Um, and then we did our signatures. 
um, cut through several layers and I stuck those several layers here. Um, then create a simple and make sure it's on every page of this book. I changed that to on, only on half the pages <laughs> and it's a butterfly that's why I said try and look out for the butterfly and leave this page in the rain so I drew this pattern with watercolor and it kind of smudged everywhere draw with glue so, and the tape made it go really weird um, mail this down to yourself I have not done that yet but I should probably do that and the tape made this page go so weird it's all wrinkly and everything I don't think I waited for the watercolor to dry. Bury this journal and sand it back up 30 minutes later. I have not on yet because it's not summer, so um, I haven't been to the beach in a while. Start and then the starter date, which was um, the 4th of May um, 2020, and the completed date, which is the 15th of August 2020. So it's taken me just over four months. And this is the break the shadow page. And um yeah, so this is the mail the, this to yourself to break in, you know, just more of those little prompt pen things. And yes, yeah, so that's my wreck this channel. Um so thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos and like if you enjoyed this one. Good. Thanks, bye.